Hi, I'm Chef Leslie Durso. It's holiday feasting time, and no matter what is at the center of your table, we all know the real superstars are the side dishes. So come with me as I take you on a journey of making classics and super delicious sides. All plant-based and all top nine free. This is Side Dish. There is one dish that makes my family at holiday table complete, and that's my grandmother's stuffing recipe. And I'm so excited to share a version that I created for you today, top nine free. And I did that by using cornbread stuffing. You can use regular stuffing if you want, but I made some cornbread, cubed it, and then dried it out in the oven, and that's gonna be the base of our stuffing. And then I've got really incredible, unique ingredients that my grandmother always used like cranberries, raisins, celery, apples, and sauteed mushrooms, which are gonna just make this recipe full of flavor. The best thing about this recipe is you just mix all the ingredients together and stick it in the oven, super easy. I've got some mushrooms that I have pre-sauteed. You could do this the day before. In fact, you could make this whole recipe the day before. Some raw chopped celery, raw chopped onion, you could admit this if you are not an onion person. Some fresh cranberries that I've just had. Some raisins for a little extra sweetness. You know I like everything sweet. One apple that's been peeled and diced. You wanna use a firm apple here. I used a Golden Delicious. Then we've got our herbs. This is some fresh sage and thyme. You can use a mixture like I am here of fresh and dried, or you can use all fresh or all dried. Some margarine, some dry parsley, a nice pinch of salt, a nice pinch of pepper. And to that, we're gonna do, ooh, melted dairy-free butter. Make sure we don't get any of that lost. We're gonna do a little drizzle of olive oil. And some vegetable broth. We're gonna give this a nice stir. So incorporate it all together. And then when it's nice and incorporated, we're gonna add in our breadcrumbs. Give that some stirs. So you want this to still be a little bit dry. If it's too dry, you can add a little bit more veg broth, but you can also add veg broth after it's finished baking too, if it's still too dry. So we've got this ready to go. I'm just gonna grab a casserole and we are going to Pour it right in. Okay. Okay. So we're now going to cover this with some foil. All right, get that all covered and that's gonna go into the oven for about 20 minutes. And if you want the last like five minutes, take the cover off so that the top gets nice and brown. This smells amazing and it's colorful, beautiful, and everyone at your table is gonna love it. From my grandma to your kitchen, I hope you enjoy.